Hi guys, I'm Mary from Mary's Milk Monsters, and I know it's been a while, but I want to make that good content, and okay, here it is, hopefully. Alright, so, um, washing your hands is good and important because germs are, like, gross and stuff, um, uh, but bar soap, which I make, um, and if you want to see a video of me making it, it's uh, up there somewhere, and, uh, if you want to buy some of my soap in particular, there's the Etsy link down there. Um, but sometimes we don't always have access to it. So, I'm going to show you how to make a gel soap out of, <laughs> out of bar soap. Is it looks pretty good. There you go. And it's pretty convenient to carry around. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, I would usually have this on my Etsy store for sale. But unfortunately, sometimes when you transport liquids, uh, the bottles will explode because changes in pressure from being on airplanes and stuff. So, I don't want to be that guy, and so I'm going to show you how to do it so that you, I don't have to ship you stuff that could explode. <laughs> anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, goat milk soap that I have that's approximately three and a half ounces-ish, and we're going to grate it. You can slice it really thin, but I'm going to grate it and look like I'm completely doing horrible things to it because of my grip. Urgh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, grate it into a wedge. It looks like cheese now. This looks, if, I, if someone walked in on this, they would be like, what are you doing with that Parmesan? Doesn't it? It does. Yeah. So, we're gonna grade this entire bar. And then once- pretty fast. Yeah, I'm trying to go quickly. Don't shred your and fingers. not shred my fingers at the same time. <laughs> and then once we're done grating it, we're gonna add approximately a quarter cup of water out of our two cups of water that we have set aside. And then we're gonna heat it in the microwave for a minute, two minutes, or until it um, thickens and is completely melted. You can use the you can use the stove top if you don't like the microwave or if you don't have access to the microwave too. That smells good. Yeah, this one was, I was making a batch of soap and I was supposed to add three essential oils to it, but I messed up and only added one, so this is just a mess up match. Cause it's, it's still just, good. It's still good, it's bay leaf scent, but I was supposed to have, add clove and frankincense to it. Which would have been anything, even better. And uh, that's actually <laughs> what's in my zombie soap, which is in, on my Etsy store. In the description, so let's see, not shave my finger off. Done. Wait, come back. They could be a little smaller. A little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, there we go. So, get that. And there's always some stuck in the back of there. Alright, so, you got that. And we're going to add it to our smaller container. But before we do that, we're going to add our water. We have two cups set aside, but we're only going to pour a quarter cup of it. And then we'll add the rest of it after it melts. Let's see. So I ease it down to about three quarters, which is there. For 500 milliliters to what looks like 400 milliliters, because the, there's metric on the other side. And then we'll put our soap shavings in here. We're not going to stir it until after it comes out of the microwave which I have way over here. So let's go over here. Next to my soap that I've already made. Those are the right ones. <laughs> Those are the bar ones. And we'll start with a minute and see how that goes. Now I need a minute to think of something funny, but that's not gonna happen in the course of a minute. We're thinking. Loading buffering wheel. What do people do while they're waiting for the microwave to heat? Stare at it. Stare at it, okay. I don't know. I mean, I know the meme when it ends and it goes beep. <laughs> yes. But anyway, I wonder what my goats are doing. What's Jasper doing? <laughs> What's Jasper doing? They're probably doing goat stuff that they do when I'm not looking. Yeah. That maybe. It's sunny out. It's, oh yeah, it is nice out. They could be outside. I don't know. They've been uh, home bodies lately and staying inside. So maybe they're just loafing around on the bed. Loafing. Yes. And then... There we go. Mine has 
four beeps for some reason. All right, and it looks like it's starting to melt a little bit. So, stir it a little. Or, no wait, we're supposed to put it back in until it melts, and then we stir it. I've done this before. So, another minute, and now the, the time that you put it in and microwave it will vary depending on your microwave, because microwaves have different wattages and stuff, so that's why the consistency of it is more important. And you don't have to use mine, you can use any uh, bar soap that you like that's similar. I'm just using mine because that's what I got. And now we wait for 30 seconds. <laughs> loading wheels, all of the loading wheels. I can't do the thing where I have the alternating at the same time. I don't, I'm not one of those people who can like do two things with both hands. Right right brain and left brain at the same time. That I'm not making any sense, am I? <laughs> did you did you get any of that? <laughs> Alright, seven, six, five, four, three, two, I'm counting too fast. One. Alright, listen, that looks like that heated up a little more. Let's see. I think we're good. Okay, it's looking a little thick here. Let's stir it a little bit. I still see strands, so I think maybe it needs one more hit in the microwave. Let's see. How's that look? Consistency. Yeah. I'll just stir it a little bit. And then we'll start adding our water. A little bit by a little bit, because otherwise it'll just be a big soapy mess. Well, I mean, it's not bad, but it won't get the thing we want. And you don't want to burn it. You don't want to burn it either. So we're going to just add a little, little bit. bit. Slowly. slowly stir it so that we don't have bubbles. And then it'll float around a little bit. Is this what the professional chefs do where they kind of stir it in the middle a little bit quickly? And then as it stirs and then it reconstitutes like that so it gets thick. And then we add more until eventually... Pull it up a little bit. Yeah. And then we'll eventually add all of the water and hopefully get the consistency we want. Okay, and that's at having added one cup of water. Yeah, now we're gonna add cup. the It's a liquid now, and then all the bubbles are coming to the top. It's still a little bit warm. Yeah, it is still warm because it's still fresh out of the microwave. So, so this is the best time to put it in, in whatever container. The containers because it'll pour easily. Yeah, it's at the pourable stage. And then this ended up making two and a half cups or five, not six hundred, five hundred milliliters. You can see it better than I can over there. <laughs> and then pour it in here. Yes, there are soap bubbles. And then you let it sit and solidify so that it turns into that. And then you can also, since it's a liquid right now, I'm gonna put it in here. I've not put this in a pumper, so we'll find out if this is too thick to go up the pumper. And there will be a little bit extra, I think. Yeah. Just enough for travel size. Use this pumper here. This is a foaming pumper, so it will make bubbles. 
which looks pretty good. And <laughs> it slathers really well, and I just realized I didn't have a sink, and this was not well thought out. But, uh, hey, it's up, so it's, my hands are sort of clean once I get water in them. Anyway, if you uh, liked the video and hopefully learned something, be sure to leave a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff, and I will see you in the next one, hopefully. Yay!